the youtube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and john harbaugh he did it he officially named bradley bozeman the starting center for the baltimore ravens this upcoming season and this was something that was a bit surprising to me at the same time it wasn't but it still was because i remember a little while back at a presser Harbaugh was like, oh, yeah, Bradley Bozeman, he's going to be in competition for the starting spot at center. And when he said that, I was like, mm, nah, I don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. But now Harbaugh doubled down on it and not only doubled down on it because he didn't say that Bradley Bozeman was going to be in competition. for. No, no, no. He said Bradley Bozeman is the Ravens starting center. So they may actually have their offensive line set. It, it may be from left to right, Ronnie Stanley, and hopefully he comes back healthy. Ben Cleveland, I know that spot is not officially his, but again, the vibe that you got to feel right now is that it's going to end up being his. But we'll see. We'll see. It's still to be determined. Bradley Bozeman at center. Uh, Kevin Zyla at right guard. And at right tackle, Alejandro Villanueva. Shout out to my guy, Gusto. So that that's, seems to be Ravens' starting offensive line. Now, see, one of the best things about that, about their starting offensive line, is the starters, but then the backups too. Because you have a backup in Patrick McCarry that he can play center, and yeah, we know how it last season ended. It was very unfortunate. But this is one of the reasons why I am very glad that they put in Bradley Bozeman at center. Because we had a question from a subscriber a few months ago uh, on this very subject. Why the Ravens, they draft these offensive linemen and they make them switch positions. They don't draft offensive linemen and play them at their natural position. And of course, you know, Ravens, they love players at every single level that can do more. If it's a wide receiver that could play defensive end, they would do it. I mean, they had a tight end playing defensive end. Uh, if it's a linebacker that can drop back and play safety, they'll have them do it. I mean, not technically, but you, you know what I mean. Ravens like guys that can do more. So with that being said, they, they take that same approach with their offensive linemen. If a center can play guard or if a guard can play tackle, they will have you do just that. And they like to have guys ready just in case because, unfortunately, we know injuries happen. Injuries are a huge part of the game. They're the worst part of the game, but they are a huge part of the game, and they happen, so you got to be ready. But with what I was saying, one of my favorite things about this offensive line is the depth and the quality depth. Because, again, you have Patrick McCarry. He stepped in. He could play center. But even though he had never played center before uh, back in 2019, he never played center before 2019. And then he stepped in, and he picked up right where Matt Scora left off. But you have Patrick McCarry. He can move around. And you have Tyree Phillips. Now, I know a lot of people, a lot of people weren't big fans of Tyree Phillips. Now, with, with me... I liked him because I, I thought about the potential. Yeah, he had some hiccups here and there, but then you got to remember the situation. What was the situation last year? Tyree Phillips was a rookie in an offseason where there was no offseason. So for a lot of rookies from last year, you got to cut them a lot of slack. You, you have to. You got no choice but to because they didn't have a proper, they didn't have a full offseason. They didn't have a normal offseason. So you got to give those guys a break. So Tyree Phillips, especially being an offensive lineman. In this offense, in this offense, <laughs> oh, man, yeah, you, you got to cut him a break. But I'm looking forward to watching his growth and his development uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. Now, of course, the Ravens, they still have Ben Powers, too. They still got Ben Powers. They still got Ben Bredesen. And the jury's still out on him. We, we don't know much about him, so it's still to be determined. But they have some depth but back to the starter back to bradley bozeman him playing his natural position this is what he played in college at alabama and the thing about this too that really makes a big difference is the experience uh and my guy marcus shout out to my guy marcus holmes he pointed this out to me months ago when it was before the draft. It was before free agency. It was when we were wondering what the Ravens were going to do at the center position. He said, we need somebody, a center, who is a natural center, but somebody who's played in cold weather games. Because, you know, like, 
when you play in, in, in football, whether you've ever played organized football, even if you just play street football, if you play in football, playing in the warm weather is cool. It's nice. I mean, you come down here, you want to play some flag. We should throw a team keep it clean flag football event down here in South Florida. But if you come down here and play football, lovely. The, the, the weather's going to be great. It may rain for like two minutes and then it's going to end up stopping. It's going to pass over. But you're going to be playing. It's going to feel great. You're going to be like, okay, man, I didn't know I was this fast. Man, I didn't know I had hands like this. Ooh, caught somebody slipping. But if you go up north in the wintertime and you want to play some football then and it's cold. Ooh. Especially if you're hitting there. If you're playing tackle. If you're playing organized football, if you're just playing tackle street football, it's different. Because when it's cold, ooh, you feel everything that much more. You do. And with the Ravens, the, one of the biggest reasons they need a center who has played in that cold weather, that has that experience playing in that environment, is not so much for the regular season. Because, again, this is the theme of this offseason for me. And it actually was last year, too. Shout out to my guy, Josh Hoffman. I know it was for him last year for sure, too. The theme for the Baltimore Ravens is not what's going to happen in a regular season. The worry is not in the regular season for the Ravens. Of course, we want them to do great in the regular season. We want them to go out there and just kill it in the regular season. But that's not the worry. The worry is in the postseason in January. When it gets cold outside and when it's pressure time, when it's one and done, when it's win or go home. Because we just want things to be right. Last year, it showed throughout the entire season. It was not a thing where it was just like, oh man, all of a sudden in the playoffs, our offensive line, they then underperforming a bit. No, it was like that through the entirety of the season. And the offensive line was the Ravens, their Achilles heel. They, they, they suffered there all year long since week one. Since week one. And they, they did some patchwork and whatnot. And again, maybe it was because of what the offseason was. Or really what the offseason wasn't. But now with them having a full offseason, hopefully this improves the quality of the offensive line play. Uh, guys can get a better feel for each other and just the, the camaraderie both on and off the field. Like, I mean, you saw everybody going out to dinner. I know that was a big tab. That had to be a big tab. All them offensive linemen eating? Like, man. Woo. That's. But whoever the waiter was, I'm sure they got a nice tip. So shout out to whoever the waiter was. I hope you got a lot of money. Uh, but this this is a good thing. This is a good thing. Because this makes... The Ravens situation at center and it makes the Ravens situation at offensive line. It makes it clear moving forward. And that's what you want. The earlier, the sooner, the better, because you don't want to be going into training camp. And this happened with the Ravens before. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it, this is a better thing. This is a better situation. You don't want to go into training camp like, oh, man, um, who's going to win the job uh, at center? Who's going to be our starting left guard? Who's going to be our starting right guard? Who's going to be all this? Who's going to be all that? And you, you want guys to compete for those starting jobs and whatnot, but at the same time, it's nice when you go into camp with a clear head knowing, okay, these are our expected starters. Really, the only job that's up for grabs is at left guard right now. That's the only one. That is the only one that's up for grabs. Because Ronnie Stanley is, is the starting left tackle, and again, that's assuming that he comes back 100%. Uh, Bozeman is the starting center. Zeitler, they didn't sign that guy to be a backup. He's a starting right guard. And Alejandro Villanueva, Villanueva, sorry. He is the starting right tackle because you saw the money that he got. That one year, $8 million deal, that's not backup money. So the only job that is essentially up for grabs is the battle of the Bens at left guard. Is it going to be Ben Cleveland? Is it going to be Ben Powers? Or is it going to be Ben Bredesen? So... Y'all know who I think it's going to be. I'm sure y'all got the same vibes that I do. Or a lot of y'all, maybe not everybody. But, hey, we'll see what goes down. But it's nice to have that clarity on 80% of the offensive line. So, shout out to Harbaugh and the Ravens for making this move happen and making it official. So, now we know moving forward what to do and how it's going to go down. So, let's just hope all the execution across the board is good to go. Let's just hope Bradley Bozeman, he, he doesn't forget 
Well, I mean, he is a natural. So if you you played center your entirety of college, so yeah, I'm I'm sure he'll be just fine. Now, one thing that I do want the Ravens to implement, no matter who the starting center would be, is you don't have to have every single play out of the shotgun. What I think the Ravens need to implement is snaps under center. Snaps under center. And it doesn't just have to be for goal line formation. But they need to implement some plays where Lamar takes snaps under center. Not just in a pistol. Not just in shotgun. So, just my two cents, though. Anyway, Team Keep It Clean, appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And we out.